Hey guys, this is Brad from Tech Guy Web Solutions, and today I'm going to make a tutorial on how to connect Dreamweaver to your website so that when you're editing your website files, you don't have to save and then re upload or, or whatever. You, you'll actually have the site in Dreamweaver on this, in this panel over here, so you can actually just uh, open your files and, and save them, and as you save them, they'll go back up to the web server. Um, it's it's pretty easy stuff. Um, you know, this is pretty much for the beginners. If you're just starting to use Dreamweaver or just getting into web development in general, um, so I have Dreamweaver open. I have FileZilla, which is, in my opinion, the best FTP client available. Uh, it's free. You can go to FileZilla.org, I believe the website is. Um, and then I have my window open. I have <coughs> a, it's a fresh Joomla install. Um, for a site that I'm, I'm going to be building and what I'm doing is I created a HTML CSS template which I want to turn into a Joomla template um, I'm not going to go through that in this tutorial um, I'll probably make another one for that but this is just so I can get into the Joomla site from within Dreamweaver so the first thing I want to do is I want to create a folder on my local machine for the the Joomla template. So here I have the project, the uh, project files. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Live Site, and in that I'm going to have my custom Joomla template that I'll be building, which I will call Tech Guy. Joomla 2.5. This is a Joomla 2.5 website. Um, <clears throat> so I, now I want to create the same file on my server in the Joomla templates folder. So here you can see I'm in my Joomla 2.5 root directory. I'm going to go down to templates and these are the available templates. I'm going to create a new folder and name it the same thing. So now we have the, the local folder and we have the remote. Now to, I want to connect those from within Dreamweaver. So I want to go to site. I want to go to new site. And you can name it. And you want to pick the, lo the local site folder. So we're going to browse to where we just were. Um, my projects folder. Current projects. Um, let me see if I the live site and this is the folder that we created so I'm going to select that now I, I, I like to go to advanced settings and turn off the cache because it can it can kind of mess things up when, when you're de developing but now we want to go to servers the second one down servers and we want to add a server and you want to name it and here you need to input the FTP info um, Obviously, yours will be different. Let's see. That and password. One second. I'm just got to look up the password for this. Um, one second, guys. Here we go. Okay. And now you can want to test and it connected successfully but right now it's in the root directory we don't want that we want it to connect to this folder here the new temp the new template folder so um, depending it, this path could be different depending on your server um, but I know that my Linux server it's gonna be public HTML slash now this is actually hold on one second alright yeah so public HTML should bring us to the root structure and I have the site in a dev subfolder um, depending on where your your site is located this would be different um, if it's in the root directory you wouldn't have this dev but as you can see my site is at ubadi.com dev so and then we want to go to the templates folder and then we want the template which was tech guy 
do one more two five so five now you want to test it again and it connected successfully and the last thing I want to do is go to advanced and I want to click automatically upload files to server on save and then click save save again and now you'll see it over here we actually do not have anything in that folder on the server so uh, let's just create a test, uh, test file um, we'll just say this is a test and I'll save it as now I'm going to save it are we in the right place yeah see we're back in live site so this is the local drive I'm going to save this as just index HTML save and now you'll see this pops up which means it's uploading and now you'll see it's over here the index HTML file now if we go on the web server and we're in the we're in the the new directory and we just let's just refresh you'll see it there it is H, index HTML so every time you, you edit this and save it it'll upload so there's no saving it and then drag it going here and then bring the file over to FileZilla, none of that. So um, it's just it's essential if you're going to use Dreamweaver to develop. And if you're using something else, uh, an IDE, maybe NetBeans or something like that, they they pretty much all the good ones have the same kind of feature. So and it should be relatively easy uh, if you know how to do it with Dreamweaver. So um, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, like I said, I'll probably make another one about actually uh, creating a Joomla template, which will be a little more advanced. But um, thanks for watching.